My name is John Palting. I'm from the University of Arizona Department of Entomology. And I have always been fascinated with uh, insects, but especially moths. One of the things I do is I go out with lights to attract moths at night and study them. You're seeing moths coming into a, two lights suspended in front of a white sheet, and the white sheet just gives them a substrate to land on. And the lights are mercury vapor lights and also black lights, and the key component of these lights is ultraviolet. And this is what attracts them to the lights. They apparently evolved to use celestial light sources like the moon and the stars, which emit ultraviolet light as points of navigation in the dark. So if the light source is very far away, the moth can sort of set an angle to it and it'll, it can fly in a, in a straight line very long distance and the light source is still in the same place. But when we put a light source close to the ground, they sort of, their brains are wired to do the same thing. So they set an angle to it before long they're going past it. And so they continually correct and they eventually fly into the light. Of course, as the night progresses, there's more and more coming within 30 feet of the light, so it just builds up and builds up, sometimes to the point of being really kind of obnoxious. There's so many scales and bugs flying around, you can hardly have a look at them. It's actually pretty amazing to see how, what kind of biomass is out there at night, and we wouldn't otherwise be able to see it without these lights, and it gives us an appreciation for what the nocturnal birds and also the bats, especially the bats are eating out there and they come flying right over the sheet back and forth, you know, sucking up the moths, but um, somebody come in that I can certainly spare a few.